Hello, my name is Rishav. I've just finished my first year at Sophia Medical University doing medicine. I'm here to tell you more about my experience. Before starting first year, uh, you'll need a couple of things to buy. Now, you can get them in Bulgaria, so you don't have to bring them from the UK, but you'll need a lab coat, you'll need uh, pit sets and forceps for anatomy dissections, and you'll need uh, gloves as well, anatomy gloves. Regarding books, uh, I wouldn't recommend getting uh, loads of books before first year because you, you don't know what you'll like. Um, so the main books or textbooks that you'll need for first year, I feel, is for anatomy and histology. Um, and I've changed my mind between what books I like throughout the year. So I've bought, I've bought books and decided, no, I actually like this book more. So come here first uh, and because you'll meet so many people who like advise you different things and you can see lots of different books and there's lots of different examples as well that I feel like you should wait until you probably arrive in first year. Um, so I wouldn't recommend buying lots of books before you come here. You can of course. Um, there are some standard books that people get uh, for anatomy especially like Netter's Anatomy or Theme. But again I would say it is down to personal preference sometimes so um, I would say to wait uh, or refrain from buying lots of books before coming here. Attendance for lectures aren't uh, compulsory, but they're highly recommended uh, by both teachers and I would recommend them as well, even though I didn't attend as many as I would like in first semester. Uh, I still would have, um, got, going back, I would have done more of the lectures because they do help you a lot, especially when you go to the exam. Um, and also teachers do appreciate attending their lectures because they work very hard on them. With regards to the seminars, uh, they are compulsory unlike the lectures and if you do miss them it's a very serious thing and uh, teachers would want a good reason for me to missing them. Uh, and if you don't attend enough of your seminars, you, they might not s sign your Kanishka at the end of it. And a Kanishka is this document right here. Uh, it's basically a, your, it has all your grades in it and has all your attendance in it and it's an extremely important document for you and it's probably the most important document uh, that you'll own. Uh, in the university. Um, so de definitely make sure you keep uh, hold of that and don't lose it. The Kanishka is extremely important and make sure you don't lose it and always um, bring it with you to exams uh, because uh, the teachers will need to sign it at the end of every exam. With regards to the exams, uh, the exams are held uh, in the January period for the winter exams and in June uh, period for the summer exams and you'll have one exam in um, January and you'll have three exams in June so make sure you revise for the June exams because they can get quite uh, hectic if you don't study beforehand. The exams are all held orally so there are some written aspects for, uh, for some of the exams so there can be a stop test before the biology exam for example but most of them are held orally and you'll be examined by a professor that you'll get at random and you'll have tickets to choose from for your questions and these will also be uh, given to you at random um, but there, for every subject there are around 100 topics so the, the subject, the content of every subject is quite dense and quite broad as well so make sure you study well in advance and make notes as well, make your own notes I feel for me that will probably be the most beneficial thing to say is to like make your own notes because you learn the best when you make your own notes and when you read your own notes back and because more sticks into memory that way. In first year, I would recommend uh, studying for subjects uh, by making notes as early as possible. So at the end of every week, I would recommend making notes on the subjects you've done that week because otherwise uh, uh, the subjects tend to pile up and you'll end up having lots to do before the exam, which you don't want. For me, the most useful resources in first year were uh, online resources. So you can use textbooks, but I found them quite dense and difficult to read through. So apart from anatomy, where I would recommend textbooks, um, the rest of the subjects I would recommend using online resources and also making your own notes from the slides that provided you by the uh, lectures, because the slides kind of contain everything you need to know about your subject. So you don't really need to go beyond that. Uh, so it gives you a good indication of what is expected from you from the final exam. Uh, the grading system is done on a scale of 2 to 6, with 2 being a fail, uh, 3 being the minimum you need for a pass, and 6 being the best score you can get. Uh, they're given it to you by the end of every exam by your examiner, and they're written in the Kanishka, as I mentioned before. So in first year, your main subjects will be biology, chemistry, physics, and cytology. Uh, coinciding with that, you'll also have Latin, Bulgarian, 
uh, medical ethics and sports. One of the first subjects you'll learn in the first semester is medical ethics and this involves learning about the different aspects of the doctor-patient relationship and also learning about the different ethical codes from uh, various countries. Uh, the examination for this is held at the end of the first semester and there's a short examination which isn't particularly difficult and you'll get a lot of help from the upper years as well. In the first year my favourite subject was anatomy because it was something I've never done before and it included dissections uh, of the human body uh, carried out by the professors but we also got to examine them as well. You have around about uh, a lecture every week as well as a, a dissection seminar and you'll you have the teacher carry out the sessions in front of you uh, while you uh, observe and also write down notes if you want. Um, at the end of every cycle, you pretty much have a colloquium, which is a short examination um, of the subject you've studied that cycle. And they'll give you a grade based on uh, what you've done for that cycle and you'll get different uh, grades as um, the semester goes along and you'll do different cycles. So for example the first thing you'll learn in anatomy is uh, about the bones, uh, so the structure of the bones, um, positioning of them, also obviously names, uh, the Latin names of them as well. For uh, anatomy uh, there is no final final exam uh, this year and in, in, uh, sorry at the end of first year the final exam will actually be held at the end of second year. So that will include all of um, internal organs, bones, joints, uh, muscles uh, and um, your internal organs as well. And they'll all be at the end of second year in a massive exam. In addition to uh, anatomy, you'll also have specialized histology. And this basically consists of learning uh, more in depth about the cells in your body and the structures that make them up. Uh, it's important to keep a track of this because you will have an examination at the end of second year. So don't fall behind uh, in this because it does add up. Uh, the examination is a, a microscope examination. So uh, you'll get a couple of slides and you have to recognize uh, the structures inside them and recognize what, what you're looking at. And you'll basically have a, a discussion with this with your examiner. In first semester, biology is probably the toughest subject because in term, both in terms of the length and the depth of the, of the subject as well, it's, it's quite dense. So I would say prepare well in advance for biology um, because there's many different aspects of it. Because there's parasitology, there's genetics, uh, there's um, cell biology. So overall, there's quite a lot to cover for it. Um, with regards to the other subjects, um, there, there will be your basic kind of uh, A-level material that you've already covered, uh, maybe going to slightly more depth than some of them. Um, but as long as you have a good foundation from A-level, you should be okay with, um, bio, uh, with uh, physics, chemistry, uh, especially. Um, with regards to cytology, cytology is probably the, the subject that will be the most new to you in first year. So I would recommend doing a lot of revision for it, but at the same time, getting good resources for that. So I found online resources to be very helpful. Um, so videos from YouTube, or KenHub or other resources that you may find are extremely useful sometimes. So definitely research into that um, when you're revising for cytology. The examination for cytology will be held at the end of first semester and that's, that will be your first real exam uh, of, the, of your medical career here. So it's important to get off on a, uh, off a, on a good start. So make sure you do well in that. At the end of second semester, you'll have a examination for chemistry, and this will involve you learning kind of basically what you did in A level, but building on that and learning more structures uh, like amino acids and carbohydrates and lipids. Uh, and this is a, a challenging exam, but again, if you've done enough preparation, you should be fine for this. Um, the examination is held exactly the same way as other subjects. You'll have an oral examination with your uh, teacher and uh, you'll get a mark based on that. For physics, uh, you learn um, in seminars, you learn various experiments and you'll be, you have to uh, with medical physics. So you learn, for example, about the lens and about your eye and how it works. For physics, you'll have an exam at the end of second semester as well. And the, these consist uh, from what you've done in experiments in seminars. And again, this will be based on your previous knowledge from A-level. So you'll just be building on that. Um, again, this isn't a very difficult exam. As long as you learn their slides and their lectures, you'll be fine.
Other subjects, which you won't have any main exam for at the end of it, but uh, are still important, uh, is Latin, Bulgarian, and medical ethics, and sports. With those subjects, I would recommend going to the seminars uh, and not missing any, if you can help it. And the, teacher, the teachers there will definitely make sure that you know uh, what you need to for the final exam. Uh, the final exam is held in, in the seminar class, so it won't be uh, a formal setting as such, but uh, it's still important that you pass it, uh, because if you fail, you do have to come back in September and do them again. In first year, you'll do a lot of Bulgarian language seminars, and in these, you'll learn about the language and how to read it and write it, as well as obviously converse in it. Uh, I'd recommend really paying attention to these uh, seminars because they'll really come in handy later on uh, when you do clinicals uh, because it's important to be able to speak and understand uh, the patients uh, because many of them might not know English very well. So it's important to know uh, Bulgarian definitely. In first year, Bulgarian will be the most time consuming of your subjects. But again, I would recommend really pay, paying attention to them. Uh, as, uh, the exam for Bulgarian is held at the end of first year and it's an informal exam that will be conducted by your seminar teacher. Uh, there's no main exam until I think third year, so this is just mainly to like keep check that you're on track to do uh, well and that you've progressed enough every year. Latin is only uh, done in first year and it'll basically be an introduction to have medical Latin. Uh, so this makes uh, learning subjects like anatomy a little bit easier because you'll learn a different uh, nomenclature and different terms used in medical uh, Latin and it'll help you to kind of understand anatomy better that way. And the examination for Latin is again held at the end of first year and uh, it's an informal exam conducted by your seminar teacher. This isn't done orally however, this is a written test and you'll basically be translating and kind of you have to know the endings of different uh, verbs and declensions etc. In first year, you also have sports, and basically you'll have every week you choose a different subject or a different sport to do. So you can do like ping pong or football or volleyball or badminton, and you have a short examination at the end of the semester, and this will basically consist of a, a grip test, a push-ups, pull-ups, uh, pull sit-ups, um, and yeah, they'll give you a score based on that, and it's not too difficult to pass. In first year, uh, Christmas holidays and Easter holidays aren't actually as much as you get in the UK normally. So you'll only get a week in Christmas and about a weekend for Easter. So what we did was we talked to our seminar teachers as a group and we doubled up our seminars. So we did extra seminars uh, throughout the week so that we could have at least a week off. So it depends on how many weeks you want off, but majority of students take around about uh, one to two weeks off maximum. Uh, so that you don't end up being too far behind in your seminars. In the summer, uh, you'll have to do an internship uh, with the hospital. Now, you can do this in Bulgaria or you can do it abroad in your home country. However, uh, you will get a, uh, a booklet to get signed by the, uh, by the relevant doctors to say that you've done at least 15 days in the hospital. Uh, now, I plan to do mine in the UK because it's very difficult to do it in Bulgaria when you don't know enough Bulgarian because it's hard to converse with the patients and doctors and staff. So it's advisable that you do it in the UK, um, or I would do it, but uh, you can also, you do have the option of doing it in Bulgaria as well. Summer holidays will last from, from about the end of June to the start of September uh, after first year. And you'll get around two months off to do the summer internship and for your own time. Also, if you, any, uh, if you have any resets in September, you can revise for them uh, at this point as well. Regards to free time, you'll have a little bit of free time in first year. Um, definitely after seminars, you'll have time to chill and relax, but also go over what you've studied that day. In the weekends, you ha you'll have the most time to kind of spend with your friends and chill and go out and go to try out new restaurants in the city or just go see the city in general. And But I'd also advise you not to completely not do any work because uh, you'll end up being behind then for the rest of the week. So definitely try and allocate enough time both for revision and also spending time with friends. Overall, I would say that the first semester is definitely easier than the second semester because you'll have a lot more exams in the second semester. Um, but I would say definitely keep on top of your work throughout the year. Um, make notes as early as you can. 
uh, but also allocate enough time to spend with your friends. It is very important to like, meet, meet new people and make new friends in first year because these are the people you'll have spent the next six years. So make sure that you have a good set of uh, friends around you because this really helps uh, in having a good time here in Sofia. I hope you find this video useful and if you do decide to come here, I wish you best of luck and see you in Sofia.